Hey everyone, Dave here from Dave's Toys. Uh, thought I'd bring you a little, my little thoughts and a quick look at at the uh, Galactic Pursuit barricade here from the twin pack that you may have seen me get in, in the Cybertron surgery unboxing video. All right, so let's have a quick look at barricade himself in car mode. Let's see, this time they've actually gone for proper police on there as opposed to the Cybertronian text. Not much going on, on top. Nice matte black on the bonnet there, the Decepticon Signia. It actually looks really quite nice. I like that a lot. As usual, as you've seen with the other ones, uh, the other Earthrise Dats and Mold. Got that purple in there. Got some black there. Visible head syndrome, as we have heard people say. <laughs> so, yes. Watch the road as he drives along. All right, and as for his accessories, we get this more Datsun looking gun uh, compared to the ones that came with the other Earthrise figures. Unfortunately, I don't have any of those, so I can't show you that. But this one we can see is just actually molded in that uh, light purple color and then just painted gold. We have that and then we have some new molded shoulder launchers uh, see a couple of little slots on the side there uh, I actually think they look a lot better and for comparison this is what the other ones look like oh, get my big hands <laughs> out of the way there uh, we can see they've come down in size, but I actually think they look far much, much better than uh, these ones here we got before. All right, and before I get into the transformation, this is the Siege version. Mine's got the uh, repro labels on there, as you can see, along with the movie verse inspired police stickers on there. Uh, as you've probably seen with everyone else that's done these guys, you know the differences. So there we go. All right. Well, let's get this fellow transformed, shall we? We can see how he looks in robot mode. Uh, I don't know if I do the official way for going into robot mode, but this is the way I do it. I just pop open. The doors. Oh, that's a tight snug fit. But it's just, oh, these are some really tight joints on this fella. Right. Crack him open. Split. Here in the back there, and I want to wiggle those out. There we go, that's his feet down. One foot, two foot. Right, there we go. Slide down one filler. Slide down the other. There we go. All right. Then we'll turn him around. Raise up one arm. Pop that out. One arm out the other way. And we'll just. Push that through. There we go. And we'll just bring the bonnet down over his head. Oh, wow. There we go. Oh, he's got his head caught. There we go. So, a couple of little tabs. Slide you in here. Get those arms set. 
spin and bend the turn at the waist. <laughs> Lost his head again. <laughs> Oh dear me, on any other day I could probably get it right, but it's because I decide to do one that I'm going to put on YouTube, it goes disastrous. Okay, here we go. Let's see him all in a nice robot mode here. Bring him in. So they've changed the head on this one. Going for the uh, new head mold that you've got on the Earthrise ones, which is not a surprise there because he's just going to be a <laughs> destined remold, I'm guessing, from now on out. Yep, unless he's not an APC with great big corn cob sprayers. If you're familiar with the Energon <laughs> toys, you'll know what I'm talking about in the uh, one of the combiners they've made him the core robot of. There's his wings, light right sign on the back there. Right. So there he is. Alrighty. Um, now, comparing to the other one, I'm just going to quickly transform the Siege version. Slide you out of the way there, Cave. Just so you can have a look at the comparison of the two robot modes and see what they've changed with them. Okay. One leg down. You're going to see the extra repro labels I've put on mine. Just there. On the legs and that. Just to dress him up a bit. I thought he was a bit bland. <laughs> there we go. Turn around. Yoink, yoink, pop, pop. There we go. Pop that over. Pop you in. These bonnets are not liking me with barricade tonight. That should just fire you. There we go. Spin a rooney. Bam. Bam. Alright. I don't see more there. Okay. Bring you back. So as we can see, the head moulds are different, which doesn't really come as a surprise now, does it? Chest mould's different. It's just the same as what they've done with the other Jets and Goliath. But, as it's a barricade and he's my favourite Decepticon, I did need to get him done. Alright, and just so I want to see what he looks like next to Voyager. There he is with Optimus Prime. And for an Alita. Good old Mr. Yes himself, Megatron. And there we go. And lastly, I'll pop him up with Optimus Prime because I got him here. Yes, there we go. Alright, now we'll just pop his guns on. And I think that will pretty much do it for this video. Alright. Pop in, nice and tight. This is where you usually see people do dynamic poses. I can't do that. So, here he is holding his gun, looking very awkward. Yes. He can give us the awkward gun hold of approval. I do quite like him. Be interesting to see what Toy Hacks has done for labels for this one. 
There are a few spots that I think could probably do with a bit of dressing up, but that's just me. Everyone else might be happy with that, and if you are, that's awesome. Don't change what you like. Like what you like. Alright, well, that'll do for this video. Uh, we'll get around to doing another one in the future, and until then, stay safe.